and welcome to Mint. I am Zara Khan and in this edition of From the Newsroom, we're joined by Malvika Joshi. Welcome to the show, Malvika. Malvika is here to tell us about the government wanting to expand the horizon of the Rajiv Gandhi Equity Saving Scheme in order to draw in more small investors. Hey, Malvika, so tell us what changes is the government, uh, government willing to make in order to draw in more traffic? Sure, Zara. See, right now, Rajiv Gandhi Equity Saving Scheme, or RGESS, mm -hmm. allows only new investors mm -hmm. to be eligible for the scheme. So how are new investors defined? Investors who do not have a DMAT account, and they have to open a new DMAT mm -hmm. account, or they have absolutely a transaction-free DMAT account. So what they are planning to do is they are planning to relax the rider a bit. See, for example, if an investor has only five, six shares okay, of some XYZ company, that investor is as good as new. Mm -hmm. So why to open a, a, a new DMAT account or you know, not allow this particular investor mm -hmm. to be eligible for the scheme? So they are saying that they'll fix a ceiling of investment which mm -hmm. will decide which is a new investor and mm -hmm. which is not a new investor. Secondly, they are planning to increase the tax benefits. Mm -hmm. Right now, you can invest up to 50,000 uh, rupees, which is deducted from your taxable income. They are planning to increase this mm -hmm. amount to say 60,000 or even mm -hmm. more than that. And uh, they are, uh, right now, you get only 50% uh, tax mm -hmm. relief, uh, right? So they are planning to double it up. So we are to see if uh, these changes are actually announced in the budget, but they are being considered by the government. Uh, Madhika, tell us, how are asset management companies and mutual fund companies reacting to this? Are they ready to accommodate this into, you know, and make, th make this uh, scheme into like packages? Sure. Uh, see, right now they have not launched any exclusive scheme for RGSS. Some of them are thinking about it. Mm -hmm. But what they have done is they have linked uh, some of their existing schemes, mm -hmm. uh, mostly ETF, uh, okay. exchange-traded yes. fund uh, schemes to RGSS. So what happens is uh, a new investor who is opting for RGSS automatically is eligible and at the same time what the existing investors will be part of the open-ended mutual funds so yeah okay. can you also uh, share some challenges that expert might have pointed out that you know AMCs and you know mutual fund companies might have to face while doing this right uh, see first of all the industry experts and the mutual fund houses are saying that uh, uh, for a new investor to be exposed mm. directly to equities is not a very good thing because you know there's quite a lot of risk involved. Mm. The second thing that they are saying is that uh, you know the scheme is right now focusing more on opening of DMAT accounts rather than channelizing household savings. So there is another thing, and uh, the third thing that they're saying is since only new investors mm. are allowed for the scheme. There is no incentive for mutual fund houses to have an exclusive scheme because it's not like infrastructure bonds where you know you are eligible in this year and you know after you exhaust your limit you cannot uh, subscribe for the yes. scheme again and again. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are a few challenges and uh, right now mutual fund houses are linking their schemes mm -hmm. to uh, you know uh, RGSS but uh, some of the popular schemes you know if if a scheme is eligible for RGSS, it has to be listed on the exchange. So if I'm a normal mutual fund investor, I need not have a DMAT account. But if you are linking a lot of popular schemes to RGSS, you need to even list that scheme, which will again create a lot of hassle for the existing investors. So these are the challenges. But if they are relaxing the DMAT rider a bit, I think it should be fine sure, yeah sure. thank you malvika for sharing your insights with us on that note we end today's from the newsroom for more updates please log on to lifeline.com 